Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. All my niggas sad, uh, rotting like a carrot. Yeah. They say they got bad. Yeah. We know you. In the last couple of weeks during this quarantine, there has been a lot of drama in the basketball YouTube community. All because of an uprising YouTuber named Polo5 that dropped two videos. Both of them was top 10 basketball YouTuber, most actual basketball YouTuber lists. And another one was another most actual basketball YouTuber list. So I decided to make the most realistic top 25 basketball YouTuber lists. What's up guys, it's your boy Will, back at it again with another video, and today we, I'm going to talk about my most realistic top 25 basketball YouTuber list. Now, I have three disclaimers. One, there are six basketball YouTubers that will be at school for this list. Number one will be BDOT, number two is Marcellus Howard, number three is The Professor, Number four is Bone Collector. Number five is Devin in the Lab. And number six is Filet. The reason why they will be excluded from this list is because they all started a platform for most of the YouTubers that's on my list to post more basketball content. It's real hoopers. Also, they're excluded from this list because they will be on my next most actual top 10 basketball YouTube list. Real hoopers. Now, the third disclaimer, everybody on this list are people that I actually watch. So everybody on this list are people that I actually tune in for. There are many other YouTubers out there that I haven't really watched yet. So don't get mad in the comments about, oh, this person was on here. Y'all know why. So that's the second. Also, before we get to this video, I will, if y'all new to my channel, or make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and also turn on post notifications of another video I'll be dropping every week, including another top 10 basketball YouTuber list, the actual one coming very soon, so y'all don't want to miss out. Now, without further ado, let's get to this list. Starting at number 25, I have Mopey from 2Hype. Now, Mopey is one of the members part of 2Hype, the whole two hype community has been dropping a lot of bangers every other day. Congratulations to them. They just hit a million subscribers. Make sure y'all go subscribe and go show a lot of support. Now, for Mopey, as a hooper, he's not a hooper. Um, here are his rankings. I give him F- minus for strength, F for shooting, D- minus for handles, F for finishing, and F for defense. My NBA comparison to him is Marcelo Huertes. Now, if y'all remember this guy, he was literally a one-day contract player. He made one of the biggest Shaqton moments in Shaqton of full history, where he literally lobbed the ball over his head as the shot clock was grinding down versus Miami Heat. That That's what Mopey reminds me of. Mopey is definitely, like, he just, he just has fun on the court, you know what I mean? He's one of the people that doesn't take it serious. He's just not a hooper. But I love his content, and he he's a great YouTuber. So shout out to Mopi. At number 24 on my list, we have the one and only Flight Reacts. Now, before we get into Flight's so-called basketball skills, I want to give a big shout out to Flight. Uh, this is definitely his year. 2020, he has taken over this year. As an entertainer and content creator, he's top three in the community. He's been doing his thing. Flight has been going crazy this year. He's top three as an entertainer. Now, for basketball skills, let's just get into his rankings, okay? D minus for strength, D for shooting, C plus handles, D plus finishing, and D defense. My NBA comparison is Prime Shaqton JaVale McGee. Now, we know what JaVale was going through on Shaqton. He was sh Shaqton full for real. Flight is definitely a good resemblance for him because, yes, he has some very high moments. And both of them be high on the court. And that's for a reason because they stay high. Now, 5-on-5, five five, like 303, 5-on-5, three five five, Flight is actually not as bad. He actually knows his place on the court. He actually, He's actually a decent passer. 
But 1v1, he is the worst in the community. 1v1. That's why I compared him to JaVel McGee. Because JaVel McGee, back when he was in Washington, he was high every game. He was doing the most stupid stuff you will ever see on the court. Fight is just like that. So that's why he is number 24 on my list. Next up on my list, at number 23, I have Gibby, a.k.a. Los Polos. Now, Los Polos is known for one of the biggest Fortnite streamers in the community. But he's not really a basketball YouTuber, but he has basketball content. So here are his rankings. I gave him strength, D for strength, A for shooting, C minus for handles, D for finishing, and D minus for defense. My NBA comparison to Los Polos is Brian Scalabrini. Now, Los Polos' best ability on the court is his shooting ability. When he is on, he's on. But that's about it. He only can shoot. Everything else is his matador. He really can't really do much at anything else. I really, we really need to see a flight versus Los Polos 1v1. But they've been saying Los Polos has been ducking flight since 2017. So, Los Polos is number 23 on my list. Now, at number 22 on my list, we have another two hype member. And he is, his name is Jidel. Jidel has been very underrated in the two, two high community. He really has improved on his jump shot. Here are his rankings. I give him C plus for strength, C plus for shooting, D for handles, C for finishing, and C for defense. My NBA comparison to him is kind of weird, but I have Myers Leonard. Now, hear me out on this comparison. The reason why I compare Jido to Myers Leonard, one, is because of his set shot. He had Jido has a kind of a weird set shot, but it works for him. It goes in. He's really improved from his jump shot. Myers Leonard on the Miami Heat is the same person. Like he really, really has a slow set shot, but it really goes in. Also, he's a very underrated passer when he plays two v two, three for uh, three or threes, and his finishing is a little underrated. But he definitely needs to improve on his defense and uh, other things. Like, he, he has good, good mid-range game. I give him that. Jidel has a good mid-range game. So, that's why he has number 22 on my list. But he makes, he drops some amazing content. Now, number 21 on my list, I have McQueen. Now, McQueen is not really a basketball YouTuber. But he does post basketball content. And he's another YouTuber I do watch daily. Here are his rankings. I give him C for strength, C plus for shooting, C minus for handles, C for finishing, and D plus for defense. My NBA comparison to him is Corey Brewer. One, because he shoot like him. He shoot like Corey Brewer to me. Two, McQueen, I feel like he's just as delusional as Flight on the court. Am I wrong? McQueen, when he plays, when he hoops, I seen the 2v2 versus Cash and Kenny. It been like two, three times he traveled all the way to the goal and he kept saying it was not a travel. When clearly y'all can see the replays on Cash and Fight's channel that he literally carried the ball all the way to the hoop, took four or five steps without even dribbling the ball and kept saying it wasn't a travel. Now, as aspect of his game, he's not bad. I think he needs to post more basketball content for one. Two, stop being so delusional when it comes to calls that have been given to him. And three, I feel like he needs, I feel like his dribble skills needs to improve more and his defense needs to improve more. So that's why he is number 21 on my list. Now, number 20 on my list, we have FaZe Rug. Now, FaZe Rug is a YouTuber that I really don't watch like that, but I have seen many clips of him hooping and playing basketball so here are his rankings i give him d for strength a plus for shooting c minus for handles d for finishing and d for defense my nba comparison to him is kyle corp now face world the clips i've been seeing it looks like he's just a spot up shooter just like kyle corp is in real life uh but he is definitely lights out from the, from beyond the arc 
everything else about his game is just not there. He definitely needs to improve on. For just for the clips alone, that scene, that's why he's his comparison to Kyle Corver. I really don't have much else to say about him because I don't really watch him like that. So yeah, man, that's why he's number 20 on my list. Now, number 19 on my list, we have the one and only DDG. Now, DDG, again, he is a rapper. He is a businessman. He is all the above. We know, we all know who DDG is. We don't have to explain it. He is also a basketball YouTuber. He also posts a lot of basketball content low key. So here are his rankings. I give him strength for, uh, B for strength, C plus for shooting, C minus for handles, C for finishing, and B for defense. My NBA comparison to him is Avery Bradley. Now, the reason why I compare DDG to Avery Bradley, 1v1s, DDG's defense is very underrated. He is a rough rider when it comes to 1v1s. He likes to get in people's faces. You can see in a lot, a lot of one v ones he played, especially the one versus Cash, a couple versus Siante back in the day, a uh, couple versus McQueen, and many others. DDG one v ones, he likes to play close games and he likes to play long games. His shooting is on and off. Some games he'd be really on, and some games he'd be really off. When he takes it to the basket, his finishing needs to improve a little bit. But for his size, he has good strength. So that's why he is number 19 on my list. Now, number 18 on my list, I have a female basketball YouTuber. Her name is Jenna B. Jenna, I just started watching her a couple, like a month ago. And I, I must say, she can flat out shoot the ball. So here are my rankings for her. I give her C minus for strength, A for shooting, B plus handles, C for finishing and C for defense. My WNBA comparison to her is Elena Della Don. Now, Jenna, the reason why I compare her to Elena Della Don, Elena Della Don can flat out shoot the ball. Mid range is deadly. Same with Jenna. Jenna's mid range is deadly. She got a good handle on her, and and she can also get to the basket. And she plays. A lot of good competitions she played. She recently played Cash. Uh, she played, I mean, Flight's not really a competition, but she played Flight. And I really want to see her go against Bree. That would be a really interesting game right there. So that's why Jenna is number 18 on my list. Shout out to Jenna for putting it on for the women basketball. Now, number 17 on my list, we have another female basketball YouTuber. Shout out to both of these females who put it on in the basketball community. I have Bree Green. Now, Bree played college basketball just like Jenna did, and Bree also played on the Harlem Gold Charter team. My rankings for her, I give her C for strength, B plus for shooting, A for handles, B minus for finishing, and C minus for defense. My WNBA comparison to her is Skylar Dickens. Now, Bree. For her size, she can really get to the basket and finish. And she has a great handle on her, and she's really fast. She's very quick. She also played many competition in the YouTube community. She played DDG. She also played Flight. I think she played Cash. I'm not sure. But she also played 3 on 3, 5v5 games. She definitely has a lot of footage out there for her. That's why my comparison to her is Skylar Dates. Now, at number 16 on my list, we have Rice Gum. Now, Rice Gum has a lot of basketball content out there. He's not really a basketball YouTuber, but he's been playing a lot of competition lately, like Cash, Flight. He played in a charity event. He has a lot of content out there. So here are my rankings for Rice Gum. I give him an F for strength, A minus for shooting, B plus handles, C minus for finishing, and C minus for defense. My NBA comparison to him is Seth Curry. Now, the reason why I compare Rice Gum to Seth Curry is because he's very streaky. Just like Seth Curry is in real life, he got a nice shot. It's just very on and off. When he is on, he's on. He can't miss. But when he's off, he is very off. Also, I've seen a lot of other basketball YouTuber lists that have Rice Gum over Cash and Kenny. Just because Rice Gum beat Cash doesn't mean he's better than him. Rice Gum needs to improve on his defense. 
and Kenny has better handles than him. He definitely needs to prove on his strength. His finishing out the basket is decent, but he needs to prove on that. Other than that, he's a very good shooter. That's why Rice comes number 16 on my list. Now, number 15 on my list, I have Kenny Chow. He is the manager of 2Hype, so he's definitely part of 2Hype, and he is a hooper. My rank is for him is C- minus for strength, A- minus for shooting, A- plus for handles, C plus for finishing and C minus for defense. My NBA comparison to him is Kimball Walker. Now, Kenny, his handles are elite. Every time I see Kenny play, he just brings out a new handle package that I haven't seen in a minute. He can also flat out shoot the ball, and he's also a great teammate. I see him play with Cash and a couple other members. Also, I also see him play with LSK. Jesser, I see him play against a lot of competition. The thing he de definitely needs to work on is his defense. His finishing is solid, but I think he needs to work on that a little bit more. But also, other than that, he's very solid. That's why he's number 16 on my list. 